Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back and it is time for another StarCraft 2 Probots cast. We are going to be having ourselves two Domo Arigatos battling it out today. Uh, on the map Ice and Chrome is where this battle will be taking place. And in the bottom left hand side of the map, we've got Gensibot. And taking on Gensibot, gonna be a Zerg. It is Kagamine. I hope I'm pronouncing these names right. A special thanks to Elad Yanvin Yanev01 for creating the map analyzer used by Gensibot. The Gensibot showing its uh, its gratefulness, I guess, for someone who contributed to its programming for analyzing the maps. Anyway, so that's really cool. I, I do love it when the bots say things. I think if you take the time to program like a little bit, a little bit of spice into your bot, it's it's always something exciting. So, we've got ourselves a TVZ between these two, and so far it looks like a pretty normal opening. Minus the well, the gas mining starting for Gen Z bot there, uh, and yeah, uh, I think it's pretty normal stuff going on. Uh, interestingly enough, Gen Z bot just sitting at zero APM currently, and then it just spikes as it decides it's time to do an action, so that, that's kind of interesting. All the while, Kagamine has been uh, cruising up at much higher APM, and that's totally dependent on how the bots are, are designed and things like that. As far as everything's concerned, though, it is just normal openings from these players. We've even got an SCV scout moving out for Gen C bot, so checking the hatchery timing against this bug. And then we have got uh, Kagamine basically going to be going for uh, just a drone scout as well. So interesting choice to drone scout. I guess just trying to identify proxies. Trigger, I guess, like a uh, defense or something if the drone spots something awry, like a lack of barracks or whatever. Uh, yeah, so pretty normal openings, which is cool to see. A uh, second barracks going up for Gen Z bot does indicate that this might be like a 2-1-1 kind of play. And Kagamine is just doing usual Zerg stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we get too far into this game, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button on this video. Subscribe and join the bell gang if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, seeing as how there is currently three workers running around <laughs> right now, let's aim for three likes on this video. All right, so fuelings on the way for Kagamine, just getting, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by the way, Kag. I'm, I'm probably just gonna start calling him Kag, but, uh, yeah, then we see uh, Gen Z bot making some marines, getting up a tech lab on that barracks. So there probably will be stims starting. And it looks like this will be a 2-1-1 coming out of the Terran bot, which is exciting to see. Uh, a 2-1-1, a very strong build, and something that requires generally a very specific response from Zerg. So, uh, yeah, so basically that could mean that... That, that could basically mean that Kagamine could just die to something like a 2-1-1 if there's not like a proper response planned because, I mean, we saw when the 2 one one first came out for Terrans that the Zergs just had no idea how to deal with it and they were literally just dying to it, left, right, and center. Like, <laughs> it was it was like the instant GG build when those 16 Stim Marines show up in your base. So, we'll see if there's going to be the response for Kagamine. Kagamine, not Kagamime. But, uh, yeah, we see the Lings are going to chase down that Reaper and kill it off. We'll see if they're going to poke the natural. Looks like they are, which is good behavior to see from Zerg. However, they do back away upon seeing those Marines. So, yeah, uh, cool to see uh, the behavior of these bots playing very human-like. And this was actually recommended by Ketrock, who actually, uh, or, uh, yeah, I believe it was Ketrock, who recommended this uh, because it play this game was apparently, and these bots, play more human-like as opposed to the last game we saw with uh, Micro Machine, and uh, oh, the name's escaping me on that on that other bot. This is this is what happens when I cast later in the evening. But uh, yeah, basically we see uh, Micro Machine. It was uh, Straylock, by the way, Micro Machine Straylock. But yeah, so we're seeing some very human-like play from these two. Interestingly enough, the third base is getting turned into the lair by Kag. So, not sure what that's about. For now, though, just macroing up his Zerg, getting pneumatized carapace, so wanting to have a guaranteed scout off. The problem is, though, this drop for Gen Z bot is going to be hitting, and yeah, this is a very, very strong push. And if we take a look, Gen Z bot's actually doing, like, this build 
to a T, pretty much. If I cast this game blind, I would probably assume that Gen Z Bot is indeed a human player up to this point. There hasn't been anything really that tip that tips it off necessarily. So uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll maybe I'll do one of those, try and guess which one's a bot in the future or something, like I did with uh, Alpha, guessing Alpha Star. Now we see the Marines are going to unload for Gen Z Bot. The third base won't be as easy to pick off since it's got that extra lair HP. 14 more lings are on the way for CAG, and uh, that's going to bring the number to over 32, which is considered the safety mark for this. Now, Jensi is uh, just sitting here with the Marines, not going in just yet. Uh, continuously macroing up behind this, all the while there's Burrow on the way for for CAG. Lots of lings moving across the map for a counterattack, but this could be bad if Jensi Bot moves in. We'll see if Jensi Bot does move in. Because there is going to be a nasty counterattack with all of these lings coming in. This is probably too much for these marines to handle, even with medivac support. Combat shield isn't quite yet done. Those marines are starting to split back. Very unhuman-like, but actually working pretty well against the lings. This attack now going to be moving in towards the third base of Tag. These marines are going to do very well against the lings. The movement of these marines is actually very, very interesting. I'm not sure how helpful it is, as they're all individually microed, but it looks like they will end up falling against those lings. They do, however, get loaded up into the medivac there. And uh, yeah, Gen Z bot is being pushed away now. This is uh, this is kind of interesting. I'm wondering, uh, I guess Gen Z bot did say at the start of the game how it uh, used uh, a map analyzer. So this may be one of those bots that's built with a neural network. I know there's a few of those. Uh, I'm learning more and more about the bot scene as I get, uh, as I cast more of it. But yeah, because of the way that this bot's playing, it does make me wonder if this bot did have its builds, the way it played, maybe chosen by a neural network. Uh, so yeah, we'll take a look here. There is 1-1 one, one on the way for Gen C bot. Uh, and Armory about to finish up as well, so good upgrades going. Supply-wise, these two players are fairly even. Uh, Tag does have the supply lead. Gen C bot is macroing up behind this, getting up the additional barrack. Another drop going to be attempted in this location, this time with Combat Shield, so it might do a little bit better. All the while Kagamine is looking all over the place, but yeah, it's actually really interesting. Like, these bots are totally looking human with their play, besides Gen C's micro, really, and uh, besides the ridiculous APM of Kag. <laughs> of Kag. But uh, yeah, it, it's really cool to see this. Uh, Human-like bot. So... Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna read uh, if there's like a synopsis for these bots and how they play. Uh, the micro is very cool from Gen C bot. I'm wondering where that behavior comes from. Is that something that's programmed? All the while, Kagamine using its unlimited APM to save lings before they get picked off. A bit of a bot derp right there, uh, as the medivac just stayed there getting shot at. But uh, let's take a look here. We see another drop on the left side while there was this drop down to the south. I'm really, really liking the play, and it's cool little quirks like this that is just something that bots can do that regular players can't. Burrowing Zerglings individually as they get targeted down and drop an HP to save them. That's something that you'd never think to do, but with unlimited APM, you can do. Uh, these Lings just constantly burrowing and unburrowing, by the way. Uh... That, that, that's kind of funny. I'm, I'm not, I'm unsure why that is. Maybe it's the mess of, like, uh, the triggers or something of, of Gen C bot. Like, it is kind of being bugged out by this ling, burrowing and unburrowing, it would seem. Uh, really, really bizarre behavior, and it's little things like this, which programmers might have to take into account when they're going up against someone like Gen C bot in a, or, like, against Tagamine in a tournament. So yeah, really, really cool to see. Uh, this medivac may get picked off. Both of them do get picked off, so that's rather painful for Gen C. Uh, Gen C doesn't have a third base being taken just yet either, so staying on two bases is pretty interesting. Just powering up for a big attack, it looks like, with 2-2 on the way. Not the most common build against Zerg, but still continuing on with the drops. The drops haven't been the most effective here for Gen C bot, but still very cool to see. Uh, we'll see where these unload when Gen C bot moves in. Uh, Infestation Pit is now on the way for Kagamine. As the Zerg does sort of start to swarm quite a bit, going up in supply. These Marines are going to micro against these Lings. We're going to see Lings being saved, burrowed before they're picked off. That's so cool to see. Uh, that drop's going to be pushed away. Meanwhile, there's another drop flying over this creep, going a little bit rogue. Uh, 
going home at least, so hopefully we'll survive. Of course, the creep spread as well for Kagamine, just going completely inhuman, which is uh, very, very crazy. Uh, I'm wondering what this Ling behavior is. Is it behavior that they'll move and they burrow away from your enemy? Uh, oh gosh, this, the burrowness is so, so cool from this. Now, one thing that I do find a little bit concerning for Kag is the fact that Gen C Bot has got this huge, huge Terran army, and that there's actually no AoE for the Zerg, and a Zerg army can't fight a Terran one without AoE, without any upgrades either, so I am a little bit concerned that Gen C Bot may actually just push out and potentially kill Kagamine. Now, in an amazing choke point, Hydras can actually do okay against Bio, uh, so Gen C Bot gonna want to break through there, and it does. Hydra's even burrowing as this is going on, but boy oh boy, is that ever a lot of bio. Incredible upgrades too. 2-2 two, two against 0-0 zero, zero for the Zerg. Uh, this is really, really concerning for Kagamine. Uh, yeah, the bot just not making use of any AoE. I wonder why the choice for that is from the programmer. If he picked this composition, maybe it's because it's hard to have a bot that uses Banelings effectively, as uh, they are quite a com complex interaction. So uh, yeah, let's take a look here. In goes Gen C Bot sieging up the tanks behind it, pushing on in. Looks like Kagamine is gonna just start bleeding off units against this. The Hydras are doing what they can. They don't even have the 1-1 one, one just yet though, so they really are gonna melt. Not a lot dying for Gen C Bot. So much Zerg has died. The hatchery goes down. The Lings are saved by the burrow, but I'm not sure what's gonna stop Gen C Bot in this game. I'm really unsure, as uh, Kagamine is just uh, is just getting pushed. So yeah, uh, Kagamine does seem to be vulnerable to the big build-up composition uh, of just like a big Terran bio army. I mean, who knows, maybe if the bot had more time it would have got up in Festers, would have maybe got up Ultras or something like that. But at this stage in the game, yeah, not, uh, not the best here for Kagamine. Uh, the bot still has got a decent amount to work with, but making just Hydras, I don't think there's a way that Kagamine can come back. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to uh, go ahead, hit that like button, join the Discord if you haven't. I added a ProBot section to the Discord. And of course, always talking about uh, the pro games. I recently just watched Dark vs. Maru, which was, I mean, Dark vs. TY, pardon me, which was just an amazing series. Might have been the series of the year, but Dark ga Dark's games always deliver incredible matches. Uh, one, of the, one of the top series of the year I've seen. And uh, yeah. Really awesome to see uh, these bot games develop further. Uh, this one really was a treat to watch. Cool to see. I'm going to keep checking out more and more bots. Gen Z bot does seem to be pretty darn good, though. But Kagamine also shows a, lo a load of promise. And uh, I am going to go read about what, make what makes these boys tick, basically. Mm, that, that, that is kind of one of the cool things about casting bots as opposed to casting humans. The bots can actually, uh, like, if you wonder why a human player does something, you don't really know. Even the human sometimes can't explain. Like, a pro player will just be like, I don't know why I did that. Whereas a bot, you can literally just check the code if you wanted to. Or talk to the author. Uh, but yeah, Gen C bot does end up taking this. CAG is, is kind of just autopiloting at this point. It is interesting to see how this bot works. And I am taking uh, another C++ class. Uh in the in this new year just taking a couple of classes right now and uh i might uh, i might make it a project to work on a bot that might that might be the end goal of course these bots have had so much work put into them by great programmers making a bot i know that competes with these guys is definitely a tall order but uh yeah we do see Denzi bot gonna be cleaning everything up gonna fast forward to the end thanks so much to everyone for tuning in make sure to hit that like button guys my name is laughing games i'll see you next time take care